Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be installing VMware Workstation Pro version 17 on a Windows 11 PC. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the system requirements, what's new with VMware Workstation Pro 17, and how to install it. So let's take a look. The requirements for VMware Workstation Pro 17 is gonna be a compatible 64-bit x86 or AMD 64-bit CPU from 2011 or later. The core speed is gonna to wanna to be at least 1.3 gigahertz or faster, and you're gonna need at least two gigs of RAM, four is recommended, and the rest of the specs are gonna be based on the host operating system. Some of the big features for VMware Workstation Pro 17 is the new supported guest operating systems. Now you could do it in previous versions, but they're officially supported right now, which includes Microsoft Windows 11, Windows Server 2022, Red Hat Linux version 9, Debian version 11X, and Ubuntu version 22.04. Instead of going too far into this, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below detailing all the new components of this release, and I'll also add a download link to install this on your own computer. So let's go ahead and start installing it. Here we are at a Windows 11 desktop. I'm at the homepage for VMware Workstation Pro version 17. And what we wanna do is download it, and there's a trial version available if you wanna try it out. Scroll down a bit here and you have the option to download a trial. Okay, we'll just scroll down a bit here and we have the option to download Workstation Pro for Windows. This is a Windows 11 PC. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the download now option and it's gonna download the file. The file size is about 608 megs in size. All the links for this will be in the description below. We're gonna go ahead and click on the option to execute this, we'll open it up. This is the first one that we get for the setup wizard. We're gonna go ahead and click on next and then we get the license agreement. You can scroll through this and check it out and then check the I accept and then next. And then I'm going to be installing this in my default folder right now. You can change the folder if you have any space issues by clicking on the change button and that'll allow you to change the folder. I'll be leaving mine in the default space. Once you have your options selected over here, you can go ahead and click on next. And then we have the option over here to check up for updates on startup. So once you have your options, you can go ahead and click on next. Next, we have the option to create shortcuts. We can do one in our menu and on our desktop. We'll leave those options selected and then click on next. And now we're ready to install. We're gonna go ahead and click on install. The whole process might take a couple of minutes depending on your system. Okay, and the installation is complete. We can see that we have the shortcut on our desktop over here to easily launch it. And if you wanna purchase a license, you can go ahead and click on the license option over here to enter in a license if you wanna use it. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and check out the trial version. So I'll go ahead and click on the skip option and we'll be selecting the trial option and then click on continue. Here we are at the main screen for the VMware Workstation Pro 17. If you had existing versions of VMware Workstation on your computer and there's virtual machines attached to that, it automatically get loaded over here on the left-hand side side where you can go ahead and execute them within the new application. If you hadn't installed any operating systems yet and you'd like to do so, all you have to do is follow the similar steps that you'd follow in Workstation 16 is just click on the create new virtual machine button and then you can follow the wizard steps to set up your virtual machine. The steps will vary and the requirements will vary on your system based on the operating system that you want to install. If you're looking for operating systems to install, you can check out my dedicated channel GeekWare Guides and I'll list some of the popular ones up here on the screen right now, but I'll walk you through the steps of installing individual operating systems inside VMware Workstation Pro. The videos that I'm showing you right now, we're actually installing them in Workstation 16, but the steps are very similar. If you're interested in installing it or purchasing it, I'll make sure I link everything in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.